perform exact ray tracing to calculate the focus of a single spherical surface for an incident ray angle of theta zero as a function of incident ray height. Use a spherical surface formed on the end of a glass rod, N2 equal to 1.5, surrounded by air, N equal to 1.0. The rod has a radius of curvature of R equal 10 cm. Question A. Perform the refracted ray angle C2 as a function of height h. B. On the same plot as part A, plot the refracted ray angle within the paraxial approximation using the refraction equation for paraxial optics. C. Find the maximum ray height where the error in the paraxial ray angle is less than 10%. D. What is the optical power of this surface in air? What is the focal length inside glass? E. For exact rays, make a separate plot of the Z coordinate where each ray crosses the optical axis. F. What is maximum ray height where rays close to the optical axis focus within 10% error of paraxial rays? I.e. rays close to the optical axis. The horizontal black line is optical axis. This is spherical surface of the glass rod. On the left side, it is air. The index of air is N1, it is 1.0. The right side, it is glass. The index of reflex is N2, it's 1.5. This is vertex V. Rays striking the surface at smaller distance above the optical axis are focused to one point F. This is ideal focal point. The distance between vertex V to focal point is focal length and can be found as f equal n2 times r divided by n2 minus n1. In our case, it is 30 cm. Reads striking the surface at greater distance above the axis are focused near to the vertex. The distance between axial intersection of a ray and paraxial focus F is known as longitudinal spherical aberration or L dot S A of that ray. And this angle is incident angle theta 1 and this angle is refresh angle theta 2. Within paraxial approximation, the refracted angle theta 2 is given by theta 2 equals h times n1 divided by r and N2. This expression is in radians. If you want to change the in degrees, so we this expression times 180 divided by pi. This expression is for theta 2 in degrees. And theta 2 is here. MATLAB simulation.
from this diagram, we can see that rays striking at the surface at smaller distance above the optical axis are focused to one point. This point is on 150 location. The vertex is on 120 location. The focal length is 150 minus 120 is 30. Rays striking at the surface at greater distance above the optical axis are focused near to the vertex. As the ray height h increases, the intersection point goes away from the focal point and close to the vertex. For question A and B, we plot in the same graph in the next page. In this graph, we plot re height h at function of reflex re angle theta 2 for two cases. One is for exact retracing this curve, and another one is for par axial approximations this curve. For question C, we will show the answer in the next page. Question C. We define the percentage error by this formula. In this formula, we treat C2 from par axial approximation as ideal C2. And C2 exact is the C2 from exact ray tracing. We plot the results as following. For all ray height from 0 almost to 10 cm, the percentage errors are all within 10%. Here's maximum 9%. But we have here the percentage of error smaller than 9%. For question D, we will show you the answer in the next page. Question D. By par axial approximation, the focal length is given by f equal to n2 times r divided by n2 minus n1. Substitute our numbers, so n2 is 1.5, r equal 10 cm, and n2 is 1.5, n1 is the air, so 1.0. The answer for the f equal 30 cm. The optical power is given by p equal to 1 over f equal 1 over 30 centimeter, and we need to change the centimeter to meter, so 0 0.3 meter, so 1 over 0 0.3 meter equal to 3.33 meter to power to the minus 1. For question number E, we will show our plot in the next page. Here is the result. We have found the focal length is 30 cm by par axial approximations. This vertical line. For the exact retracing, we find the focusing point is close to vertex 0 as the height goes higher and higher. This curve is the exact retracing curve. Question F. We show the answer for this question in the next page. This is the answer for question number F.
The vertical axis is for re-height h. The horizontal is percentage error in optical x focus in percentage. As the re-height h increases, the percentage error also increases. If we require the percentage error is within 10%, we find that the re-height must be smaller than 6.4 centimeters.